CEO Elon Musk recently stated. But, but it is it is um, like it is one of those things where I think long term Optimus will be uh, Optimus has the potential to be north of ten trillion dollars in revenue. Emphasizing the enormous potential of Optimus Gen Four, which is expected to contribute eighty percent of Tesla's long term value. Why is Optimus Gen 4 expected to contribute the majority of Tesla's long-term value? Before we begin, please help us reach 20,000 subscribers. It will be a huge motivation for us to continue bringing you great episodes about Tesla bot, Tesla EVs, and the latest news. How is Optimus entering real-world use in the much larger humanoid robot market? On Monday, CEO Elon Musk drew attention by declaring that 80% of Tesla's future value will come from Optimus the humanoid robot the company first unveiled in 2021. This statement came right after Tesla released its master plan, Part 4, outlining a new ambition, expanding beyond electric vehicles into the realm of physical AI, artificial intelligence systems capable of interacting and working directly in the real world. Musk emphasized that Optimus is the clearest embodiment of this vision. The shift is not accidental. The global auto market, worth about $3 trillion annually, is showing signs of saturation. Tesla reported a 13% drop in global sales in the first half of 2025, with sales in the European Union alone plunging by 40% in July, marking the second consecutive year of decline. In contrast, humanoid robots open an entirely new market, which McKinsey projects could reach $8 to $10 trillion in the coming decades, far surpassing the growth potential of electric vehicles. Tesla is not just talking about a distant vision, but has already started testing Optimus in real-world tasks. Last week, Optimus appeared at the Supercharger Diner in Los Angeles, serving popcorn during its grand opening. Musk revealed that by 2026, Optimus will be promoted to food delivery, bringing orders directly to customers' cars and eliminating the need to go inside. This demonstrates that Optimus is ready to enter the service industry, one of the largest sectors of the economy. With 80 charging stations and a space serving both Tesla and non-Tesla EVs, the diner provides an ideal testing ground for deploying robots in customer service operations. At a broader level, Musk is not the only one who sees the future of robots and physical AI. NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang has also called physical AI the final evolutionary step in AI development and launched a $3,499 developer toolkit for robot brains, which began shipping this month. Analysts such as Kevin Cook of Zach's Investment Research believe Musk's move to leverage over 15 years of AI training experience from Tesla's vehicles into autonomous robots is both logical and inevitable. Of course, the path forward is not without obstacles. Optimus initially faced skepticism from analysts, and its production timeline was disrupted by U.S.-China trade disputes over rare earth materials, which interrupted the supply of robot motors. Earlier this year, Musk predicted Tesla would produce thousands of Optimus units in 2025 and even suggested its long-term revenue could exceed $10 trillion. However, the resignation of Optimus Development Chief Milan Kovac in June highlighted that the project still faces significant internal challenges. Even so, Optimus has stepped out of the lab and into real-world tasks, from serving popcorn to soon delivering food directly to cars. This proves that the vision of humanoid robots becoming an integral part of the economy is no longer far off, and helps explain why Musk is confident that Optimus will account for the majority of Tesla's future value. Yet while Musk claims Optimus could eventually represent 80% of Tesla's value, the reality is that the company faces growing competition in an increasingly crowded, humanoid robotics market. Morgan Stanley projected in May that the sector could reach $5 trillion by 2050, with about 1 billion robots in operation, meaning it is no longer Tesla's playground alone. Figure AI, a major U.S. rival, has raised over $700 million from heavyweight investors such as Bezos Expeditions, Intel Capital, Microsoft, and NVIDIA in just three years since its founding. Reuters also reported that the company is pursuing a new $1.5 billion funding round, which could push its valuation close to $40 billion. Meanwhile, California-based K-Scale Labs is targeting the mass market with a humanoid priced at just $9,000 far below the expected entry price of Optimus, appealing to cost-sensitive customers. The pressure is even greater in international markets, particularly China. An HSBC Kenhai report in August noted that sales of industrial robots in China grew from 150,000 units in 2017 to around 300,000 units in 2024, nearly doubling in just seven years. China is also pursuing an open-source approach cutting production costs while winning favor within the global tech ecosystem. 
This has led many experts to warn that while Tesla is seen as the benchmark for humanoid robots, it risks being overtaken in real-world commercialization. If figure AI advances quickly in the high-end segment while China scales up mass production of low-cost models, Optimus will face a dual challenge. Maintaining cutting-edge technology while keeping costs competitive enough to fulfill the ambitious vision Elon Musk has laid out. Once again, please help us reach 20,000 subscribers. This is important for us to stay motivated. Thank you. What advantage does Tesla gain from its large-scale production capability and ultra-low costs? In the humanoid robotics industry, the biggest challenge does not lie in building a working prototype, but in achieving large-scale production at low cost. This is precisely where Tesla outshines all of its competitors. Elon Musk's company has already built a massive industrial manufacturing ecosystem in the EV sector, and this experience can be directly applied to Optimus. First, Tesla has demonstrated an extraordinary ability to scale production in electric vehicles. Within just five years, from 2018 to 2023, Tesla's global output grew from 245,000 vehicles to more than 1.8 million annually. The ramp-up of the Model 3 and Model Y, from tens of thousands of units to millions, proves Tesla's unmatched capacity in supply chain management, process optimization, and cost reduction at unprecedented scale. The second major advantage comes from Tesla's massive pre-built infrastructure. The company operates multiple gigafactories worldwide, Nevada, Texas, Berlin, and Shanghai. These factories don't just produce batteries and EV. They are equipped with advanced automation lines, industrial robots, and most notably, gigapress machines. 6,000 to 9,000 ton aluminum die casting systems capable of producing large vehicle parts in a single press. For Optimus, Core structural frames could be manufactured in a similar way, drastically reducing cost and time compared to traditional welding or assembly methods still used by competitors. Another key factor is Tesla's battery and electric motor supply chain, both critical components of Optimus. Tesla currently produces over 200 gigawatt hours of batteries annually, with projections to reach 1,000 gigawatt hours by the end of the decade thanks to its in-house 4680 cells. This gives Tesla direct control over battery costs, the single most expensive part of a robot, while ensuring supply stability. Tesla's electric motors, which in their latest design have been streamlined to just 17 moving parts, can be repurposed for Optimus at extremely low cost. Startups like Figure AI or Agility Robotics have no such advantage. While Tesla can leverage tens of billions of dollars worth of infrastructure, competitors remain stuck at experimental scale. For example, Figure AI raised $675 million in early 2024, a huge figure for a startup, yet still only enough to sustain production at the level of thousands of robots. Boston Dynamics, despite its long technical legacy, has yet to successfully commercialize a humanoid at industrial scale. Agility Robotics, with its Digit Robot, has only announced plans to build a factory capable of 10,000 units per year in the U.S. These figures pale in comparison to Tesla's potential to produce hundreds of thousands or even millions of Optimus units. Large-scale production also translates into the decisive advantage of cost reduction. In manufacturing, economies of scale can cut per-unit costs by 30 to 40 percent when output doubles. Tesla has already demonstrated this with the Model 3. Average costs per vehicle fell from over $50,000 in 2018 to below $40,000 in 2023, despite global inflation. Applied to Optimus, as Tesla scales from a few thousand to hundreds of thousands of units, Per-unit costs could fall to unprecedented levels, creating a steep barrier to entry for rivals. Tesla also holds an additional edge, the ability to automate its own Optimus production with Optimus itself. Elon Musk has hinted that future versions of the robot will be deployed directly on production lines, creating a self-reinforcing loop. Once realized, this would slash labor costs and allow Tesla to expand robot manufacturing without the massive workforce traditionally required in the auto industry. Finally, Tesla's financial strength cannot be overlooked. It is currently the world's most valuable automaker, with a market capitalization regularly hovering between $500 to $600 billion, giving it the ability to raise tens of billions of dollars to fund new robot factories. By contrast, Figure AI, Agility Robotics, and Boston Dynamics lack such capital resources and must rely heavily on venture funding rounds to survive. Why does Optimus open up an entirely new revenue stream for Tesla? Tesla is on the verge of opening an entirely new revenue stream with Optimus, not only through direct robot sales, but also via a robot-as-a-service RAS model. This approach is similar to how software-as-a-service 
transformed the IT industry, turning robots into a flexible rental service instead of a fixed asset. With this model, businesses can pay monthly or hourly fees to use Optimus, reducing upfront investment burdens while Tesla secures recurring income. According to estimates by Markets and Markets, the global RAS market could reach over $40 billion by 2030, and Tesla could take the leading position if it leverages its manufacturing scale and existing AI software ecosystem. One of the key factors driving this model is the rising cost of labor. Data from the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, OECD, shows that the average annual wage for general labor in the U.S. now exceeds $45,000. While in the European Union, the figure ranges from $35,000 to $42,000. Even in Japan, where the population is aging rapidly, the average annual wage still hovers around $38,000. Compared with these costs, renting an Optimus for only a few thousand dollars per month offers significant financial efficiency for businesses, while also reducing dependency on an increasingly constrained labor market. In the industrial sector, the potential applications of Optimus are particularly compelling. Factories worldwide are seeking to automate their assembly lines to cut production costs, especially in electronics and logistics. More than 553,000 industrial robots were installed in 2022, a record in history. However, traditional robots are often rigid and difficult to adapt. Optimus, with its humanoid form, can integrate seamlessly into existing assembly lines without requiring a complete restructuring of infrastructure. This opens the door for Tesla to deploy Optimus across tens of thousands of factories in need of more flexible automation, potentially generating billions of dollars in annual revenue. At the household level, the opportunity is equally significant. A PWC survey shows that 60% of U.S. households are willing to spend money on home automation services if the cost is reasonable. An optimist could replace a wide range of services such as cleaning, pet care, elderly assistance and disability support, tasks that American families currently spend an average of over $10,000 annually on when hiring workers or outsourcing. With a subscription-based rental model, Tesla could capture stable revenue and expand into a market of hundreds of millions of households worldwide, particularly in countries facing aging populations like Japan, South Korea, and Germany. Healthcare also represents a major market for Optimus. According to Deloitte, labor costs account for up to 55% of total operating expenses in hospitals and healthcare facilities. Medical staff shortages combined with high stress levels have led to rising turnover rates. Optimus could assist with tasks such as transporting medication, helping patients move, or delivering supplies to doctors and nurses. If Tesla introduced RAS into hospitals, even with only 10% adoption among the more than 200,000 medical facilities in the U.S., the market could already generate tens of billions of dollars in annual revenue. The key lies in the long-term economic value that Optimus brings. Unlike traditional robots, Optimus is not just a device but also an AI platform that can be continuously updated. Tesla could sell additional intelligent software packages, ranging from advanced industrial control systems to specialized healthcare solutions. This opens up a business model similar to Apple's App Store, where hardware is only the starting point, while software and services become the sustainable profit engine. Looking at the bigger picture, every sector Optimus enters could become a billion-dollar business in itself. The global manufacturing industry alone is valued at over $16 trillion annually. Household services in the U.S. account for more than $500 billion, and global healthcare spending exceeds $9 trillion, according to the WHO. Capturing even a fraction of these markets could give Tesla unprecedented revenue streams in its history. This illustrates that Optimus is not merely a technological product, but a gateway to a new era of revenue, far beyond the boundaries of traditional electric vehicles. We appreciate your contributions and hope you will have the most relaxing feelings after watching this video. If you did, please hit the like button and join the Techno Creator family by subscribing to our channel. And don't miss out on any of our awesome videos by hitting the bell icon. We value your feedback and your time. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you soon. Until then, stay safe and have fun.